but yeah, I mean, he's written this absolutely wildly infectious, lively song, which brings you to life. Now, see what you just saw right there? Now, how in the world can you not be inspired to go out and deliver when the guy on the other side of the camera seems to be more excited than, than you are? I mean, Stanley Donan was responsible for pulling off the uh, Oscars. He was the director or producer, I should say, of the, of the Oscar ceremonies. Came down to the studio where I was working on the album to discuss with me my part in the Oscars. Um, just so happens when he walked in the room, we were doing Dancing on the Ceiling. And he, of course, he said, you know, I did the first Fred Astaire Dancing on the Ceiling. And we talked about it for a while. Not anything about doing anything, just conversation. Uh, that evening after the Oscar, he came over to me and said, excuse me, um, have you made up your mind yet about a director for your video? I said, uh, well, we have a few names in the pot. He said, well, would you consider me? I said, not only would I consider you, you can do it. <laughs> Yeah, this is the whole stage. So what what we have in the gimbal is like we have that wall coming down here. This has all been condensed a little bit, made a little shorter to fit. fit oh, in I, there. my mind was going crazy. I realize now this is the upside down. The upside down. I couldn't imagine. Yeah. Why? This morning they were putting the they were putting the ceiling up here, and I said you're doing it backwards. Yeah. But if no, there no, was no, a no, song no. called Dancing on the Ceiling, it seemed to me people should dance on the ceiling. Sometimes the obvious is the best. This is as close to doing a musical number in a movie. It's not as close, it's identical. This is exactly the same set of circumstances, the same set of problems, the same scale. It's a huge scale to deal with this. We're taking up a very big sound stage with a lot of sets. And uh, it's the same, same thing from my point of view. It's, it has no difference, except it won't be seen on a big screen. We were also strongly influenced by the opportunity to work with Stanley Donen. And here was a man, after all, who had created the original Dancing on the Ceiling with Fred Astaire some 36 years ago. And here was a brilliant filmmaker who had done, you know, uh, films like uh, Singing in the Rain and uh, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers and wonderful, wonderful, historically important uh, pieces of cinema. And to be able to put him with Lionel and to be able to recreate the illusion that is created uh, in the original Fred Astaire in the uh, film, the R Royal Wedding film, um, to create that with Lionel and to not only take Lionel up onto the ceiling, but to take the entire party up on the ceiling. Those were opportunities that you just couldn't pass up. The biggest thing has been the gimbal, which I didn't know what it was, and I kept my mouth closed for a day, and then I finally said, I don't know what it is, and found out not many people did know what it was, and how it worked, and, and now we're into it. And it's a major, major set. I mean, besides the other sets that have been created, my favorite prop, the telephone, excuse me, stage 15. Fred did it, you never knew. You never knew where the gravity was. The way he did it, you never knew that he was fighting gravity. Well, the camera never knows that the set is moving. The camera and the floor are married. So that whenever the floor is not on its level, the camera is unaware of it because it doesn't see off that floor. It, it's it's nailed or screwed or tied down to the floor so that the floor line or the horizon line never changes. Therefore, if the floor is on the ceiling, it isn't on the ceiling to the camera. The camera just sees it as right side up, no matter what position it's in. Therefore, when the side walls or the ceiling becomes the floor or the wall, and the people are on that side or the ceiling, the camera thinks they're actually on it because it thinks the floor is the floor. And that's really how it works. And we accomplish that by putting it in a large wheel, putting the room in a large wheel and turning it. So we have a lot of other complications. I, I changed my mind. <laughs> We're not going to do it.
So I figured I'll tell you time. one thing it'd be a great relief. It'd be a great relief. Wait till you get in here. Oh god. <laughs> no, but I talked to him last night. He, said, he, he started laughing. He said, I knew as soon as you got in there. Michael told all of that was Michael gonna be told out me the all about it. Michael <laughs> said, I've been inside the room. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, You come tomorrow. Let me work on it tonight. Yeah. Oh my God! Relief. That's just the that's the torture chamber. <laughs> that, okay, all right. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> okay, now we'll put the shoot back for two weeks, right? Just so I get you good looking. We'll walk you through the okay, whole thing, right. but no, no, for me, this thing is for me to just get used to. Mm, that's right. Once the, once the excitement gets over, I'm okay. Once I you do it, I want to. I don't know if I suspect the first thing that happened to you is your muscles be sore a little bit. Yeah. From but you know what's ground. easiest? I, easiest I found was the big stuff. You know, all of these things. Big steps. Yeah. Big steps. Because when you do this little stuff, right. yeah, you're not. going against the, the motion. But you'll feel. Well, I mean, once you get used to the deliberate movement is just once you get used to this. All oh, hypothetical while you stand here. <laughs> well, do you know, do you know one thing. Let me just say it to you. Just so that you will know. No matter what happens, right? When the camera's on, you'll be doing I'll be it. Just like, <coughs> I know that. That's right. I'm, count, case, I'm counting on that. Money play. And in case everything goes wrong, stay on the face. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about the face. <laughs> with you. It took Fred Astaire as solo all by himself six weeks to work on this little thing of walking on the ceiling. Um, we did it in a week and a half really. Four days of actual practice and I must tell you that I could have used about another four of Fred six to make it work. It's really the craziest thing in the world. The amazing wonder about this is that we're not just using one person. We're taking groups. It's a party. choreograph any kind of movement right side up is hard enough to um, I'd have to adapt it to a machine that totally throws off your equilibrium totally disorients you in terms of where you are um, sort of like going on a ride at Coney Island or you know Magic Mountain uh, it took a little bit of readjusting uh, but again, the challenges of what you have to do as a choreographer to make it appear relatively easy um, just took a little bit of practice. Now, it took us, I'm talking about three serious hours. I mean, forget the dance steps. We're just talking about <laughs> trying to get in Work. and do the thing. No, but you, if you see Fred Astaire in that movie, then he, I realize that he isn't walking ever across a flat floor, no, right? No, no. Because you, all, by the because time you walk, it's a the corner. Floor, the floor is a it's corner. A corner. It's a corner. Right. Corner. So you're always, but you've got to look like you're walking. And if on a you're flat not only do you have to look like you're walking on the floor, but the way it is here, you have to look like you're looking out because yeah. the section of the room that turns is in the back of the uh, set. Yeah. Now, if I'm, you have playing to look off, but if I'm playing off, of and you Michael, have to be straight, and you have to be straight up and down with the room. In other words, you exactly. exactly. That's what I'm saying. If I'm playing off of Michael, hopefully you keep you kind of keep the eyes <laughs> because now what is the floor yeah. now becomes the wall. And then it and so you had to learn when to step down gracefully and keep your mouth doing. He was in the corner. He was in the corner. He was in the corner. I heard something go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and I looked and around. Usually you hear, and then you know. You hear something yeah. moving. <laughs> I heard. I heard. I said, wherever he is, he's hurt. <laughs> Look. Seriously, I'm serious. Oh my God. I mean, because once, if you don't catch it, I mean, once it starts to go, and you're up on the up part. Yeah, see, yeah. see, when, oh, yeah. when you. See,